What's up scrappy peeps? It's Adele from Mickey Quill and I'm here with a little layout today. A 6x12 layout. I've been liking the 6x12 layouts lately. Um, I think because I've been trying to catch up on my uh, 2017 album and 6x12 layouts are a great, great a great way they're a great way no they're a great way to catch up on your scrapbooking and still have a focus on a photo without having to do a huge layout so this is a very important photo this is a photo of Aaron swaddling a doll yep swaddling a doll uh, we went to a baby like a birthing kind of class um before we had Archie of course and they it was really good I was super nervous about it because you hear all these horror stories about you know videos that they show you and I was already feeling quite apprehensive about the birth um but it really wasn't bad at all and we learned some great tips and we learned how to swaddle so here in Australia they recommend that you swaddle the baby until it's able to roll over um, and I know in other countries it's different and I think that's the way with everything even with teaching it's the same thing things just kind of cycle around as to what's the recommended thing to do what's the new current trend um, and this is currently what they're they're telling people to do and you know what it does work for Archie he gets all cocooned up in his little swaddle um, and it makes him go to sleep because he doesn't startle himself with his arms he's shocking at waking himself up with his arms so I snapped this little photo while Aaron was swaddling the doll uh, they had the boys go first which was fun <laughs> this was a class that um, couples or singles could go to and just learn a little bit more about uh, the birthing process and the first few weeks which is which was good to know because I hadn't held a baby really before Archie and so it was an eye-opener I learned I learned a lot of stuff so I'm using the February citrus twist pocket life kit and I freaking love this kit I made this is I think the third the third or fourth page that I made using it and I wanted to show you that um, with this kit crashes series that I have you don't have to use the kits for the type of scrapbooking that they're designed for if that makes sense so this is designed for um, pocket pages and this of course is not a pocket page this is a layout so the good thing about these kits is they come with a six by two a six by six paper pad which really extends the kit and makes it a lot easier to like matte photos um, and as you can see do those layers there this is also a great way to use those freaking giant pieces of ephemera. I don't know what it is, but someone over at American Crafts has it for big things at the moment and they are loving the big chunky pieces of ephemera. Bring back the small ones. <laughs> we like the little ones. Um, I find it really difficult to use these big pieces and I know I've talked about this before and I think a lot of people are with me here, um, but they are fabulous for layering. So I decided to use a few of them up here. This is the cut apart page from the six by six paper pad. And I decided to turn one of the little tags into just a little embellishment because I could and just tuck it in there. It's kind of like a little tab. So I wanted to do kind of just a little bit of journaling here, not, not too much journaling um, and kind of have a scripty font title. I think I ended up going with. So I'm just adding a few little bits and pieces and do I add the floral do I add it here do I add it there and I'm kind of going for my typical kind of it's a bit like an open triangle or like a less than greater than sign <laughs> um, so I tend to do something in the top corner and then opposite side middle of the page and then back to that bottom corner on the opposite side I just think it's pleasing to the eye and it just kind of makes your eye bounce around the page so you can also see it follows the photo so if you're scrapbooking something and you don't know where to put your cluster have a look at your photo and see where does your eye go first in your photo and then where does it go to last so what I usually tend to do is do a cluster where my eye goes first so straight away my eye goes to Aaron's face because it's darker and it just I just I just like looking at Aaron's face <laughs> <laughs> no my eye just goes straight there because it is darker and then it kind of follows the shape of his arm down to the bottom right hand side of that photo so I've done a cluster where I look first and then a cluster down on that bottom right where I look next so if you're new to scrapbooking or if you get stuck of where to put your embellishments that's often a way to figure out where to put it 
I'm really enjoying doing this ghost stamping at the moment where you stamp it properly once and then you kind of just keep stamping it over and over again until the stamp fades out. I don't know what it is. I just, I really am liking it. I'm adding a little puffy sticker here and stapling on a little heart. I think I was maybe because I was lazy, but also maybe because I thought it looked nice with a staple. It's hard to tell when I use staples. It's a 50-50 chance whether I'm feeling lazy or whether it's for design aesthetic reasons. <laughs> so then I knew I wanted to do my title down the bottom here and I was tossing up which gold ones to do. I didn't know which gold ones to do. And I thought I'd pull these ones out. I haven't used these ones I think I've only used them maybe once or twice possibly. Um, the problem that I have with them is because they are half white, half gold, I feel like sometimes you can't see the white part of it. Um, but here it you could kind of see it a lot better. So I think that's why I used it. Maybe the last time I went to use them, I was using a different cardstock and the cardstock was a bit more white. This um, Basil Marshmallow cardstock is a little bit more, it's not cream, but it's it's got more of a, like an ivory, is that right? I should remember back to my wedding dress buying days. It's a bit of an off-white, it's not white white, it's not a crisp white. Um, so I think they, they you can see them a little bit better. And I always do, here's a tip, if you need a scrapping, glue your chipboard thickers down because those babies don't like to stick. I don't know what it is with the glue with them, but so many times I've opened up my first couple of albums and all of the chipboard letters have like slowly started to fall off. The foam ones seem to be okay, but it's the chipboard ones that just need a little bit of extra glue to stay down. I decided to call this one, Are We Ready? Um, because we didn't know if we were ready. <laughs> but I guess you can never be, that's the thing with a baby, you can never be fully ready. And I I was a little bit worried that I was going to get, because I do have anxiety, and I was worried that I was going to be more anxious when Archie came along. Um, but I've actually chilled out a lot more. I don't I don't know why. I've kind of done the opposite of what I thought, which is great. That's, that's what I'd like. Um, but yeah, I think... Someone, one of the midwives told me something that was really helpful. He, the midwife was a guy and he said that the baby doesn't know what you're doing. So if you're confused or if you're stuck, the baby doesn't know if you have to Google something. The baby doesn't know if, you know, you ask someone for help. So that's a good thing to remember. If you're a new mum and you're feeling a bit nervous, the baby can't judge you. He just needs some love and cuddles and support and all of his, what he needs to stay alive. And he can't judge you and say, oh, you use the lower quality wrap on me today. You're a bad mother. He can't tell. So I'm just about to use some Heidi Shine here off my little rant about new motherhood. And I'm slowly learning to put a piece of paper under my paper when I Heidi Shine because I get this stuff freaking everywhere. I really do. One day I will accidentally pour it again on my layout. I'm, I'm so surprised that I've only managed to spill the bottle of Hardy Shine once. Or, I, yeah, only once. I did shake it the other day and the lid wasn't on properly and it shook everywhere. But I've only actually tipped it over once. So thanks for joining me today, guys. And let me know in the comments below if you've tried this 6x12 format. Um, I really think it's great if you're behind in your scrapbooking and you want to catch up a bit, experiment with some different size layouts because there's no rules saying you have to stick to the one size forever. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!